Hi everybody, Brian Strauser, Principal and Chief Executive here at BrightPath. And in episode 216 of our Managing Uncertainty podcast, I want to talk about the biggest threat, the biggest challenge facing crisis management professionals right now. In our previous episode, we talked about business continuity professionals. In this episode, I want to talk specifically about crisis management professionals. In my perspective, one of the most formidable challenges facing crisis professionals today is this rapidly evolving landscape of threat and vulnerabilities. And it's complicated by the twin threads of digital transformation. We become more dependent upon technology than ever before and globalization. In today's era, we see this characterization of this unprecedented convergence of forces coming together technological forces and evolution, socio-political forces and environmental complexities all combining into this really complex scenario. This web of intricacies, if you will, has yielded an entirely different set of multi-dimensional crises that defy conventional response frameworks. They've made it more difficult to deal with these disruptions than ever before. For example, this confluence of cybersecurity threats with traditional risks like natural disasters has resulted in scenarios that are just exponentially more difficult to manage than what we've seen before. In these situations, crisis leaders have to coordinate not only the immediate response measures, the life safety measures, but they also have to think through long-term recovery strategies that can span multiple domains from how do you support your team, to cybersecurity, to public relations and reputation management and beyond. The accelerated pace of how we disseminate information today through social media, through video like YouTube and TikTok and other means, um, poses its own challenges to crisis communications. It's easy for misinformation and public sentiment to evolve swiftly and take hold, good or bad. And it requires organizations to be equally agile in their response strategies. You have to be able to evaluate what's happening around you and move very quickly forward with what those strategies are. The old playbook of issuing a holding statement and thinking that that solved your problem for the next day or two uh, and then providing a periodic update or a periodic briefing, that pretty much falls short today in an environment where real-time updates are just expected as a norm. The key to surmounting these challenges for crisis professionals lies in adopting a more integrated approach. You want to fuse traditional crisis management, the tenets of how we used to think about doing crisis, with these new emerging technologies and methodologies. Almost think of it as digital crisis management. This requires continuous learning and adaptation, and above all, it requires that you build a culture of proactive risk assessment and mitigation in your organization. So this nature of contemporary risks demands a different kind of way of thinking about crisis management. Yes, the old principles still hold true, but we need to be more holistic, more agile, and technologically adept than ever before. And that approach for crisis needs to be just as dynamic as the threats that we aim to counteract. That's it for this edition of the Managing Uncertainty podcast. We'll be back next week with another new episode. Be well. Thanks for watching our video. To learn more about how to manage uncertainty and disruption in your organization, be sure to like, follow, and subscribe to our video channel. And here are a few more videos that we've selected that will help you learn more about business continuity, crisis management, and crisis communications.